Sometimes we have to step away from the silly content on this channel and focus on the serious issues. Jury trial demanded. Class action complaint. Plaintiff Frank Saragusa, by and through his undersigned counsel, upon personal knowledge as to himself and upon information and belief as to all other matters, allege as following. Plaintiff brings this action against defendant Taco Bell Corp. Taco Bell. On behalf of himself and all other similarly situated individuals who purchased a Crunchwrap Supreme, Grande Crunchwrap, Vegan Crunchwrap, Mexican Pizza, and or Veggie Mexican Pizza from a Taco Bell located in New York during the period July 31st, 2020 through the date of the final deposition of this action. Factual Allegations this is a class action against Taco Bell for unfair and deceptive trade practices, for falsely advertising the amount of beef and or ingredients contained in Taco Bell's Crunchwrap Supreme, Grande Crunchwrap, Vegan Crunchwrap, Mexican Pizza, and Veggie Mexican Pizza menu items, the oversated menu items. Taco Bell's advertisement for the Crunchwrap Supreme looks as follows, when compared to the actual item provided to customers. That does look much different. Taco Bell's advertisement for the Grande Crunchwrap looked as followed when compared to the actual item provided to customers. Scandalous. Taco Bell's advertisement for the Vegan Crunchwrap looks as follows when compared to the actual item provided to customers. Disgusting. Taco Bell's advertisement for the Mexican pizza looks as follows when compared to the actual item provided to customers. Even the top, there's no comparison. Taco Bell's advertisement for the veggie Mexican pizza looks as follows when compared to the actual item provided to customers simply nothing there. Taco Bell materially overstates the amount of beef and or ingredients contained in its advertisements for the overstated menu items by at least double the amount. Taco Bell uses the same uniform photographs on Taco Bell's in-store and drive through menu ordering boards on the website tacobell.com and on food delivery service websites and mobile ordering applications including Uber Eats, Postmates.com, Grubhub, Seamless.com, and DoorDash.com. Taco Bell's advertisements for the overstated menu items are unfair and financially damaging to customers as they are receiving a product that is materially lower in value than what is promised. Taco Bell's actions are especially concerning now that inflation, food, and meat prices are very high and many consumers, especially lower income consumers, are struggling financially. Thanks, Joe Biden. Taco Bell's promise to customers of a large portion of food with their purchase are also causing consumers to come to, order from, Taco Bell's restaurants and make purchases that they would not have otherwise made. Taco Bell is also unfairly competing with restaurants that more fairly advertise the size of their menu items. Taco Bell advertises larger portions of food to steer customers to their restaurants for their meals and away from competitors that more fairly advertise the size of their menu items, unfairly diverting millions of dollars in sales that have gone to competitors, attacking small businesses. On September 15, 2022, a reporter for the U.S. Sun published an article stating that the Mexican pizza wasn't as beefy as the commercial pictures made it look. On June 15, 2022, a reporter for MASH.com published an article stating that many consumers were complaining about the lack of beef in Taco Bell's Crunchwrap. Numerous consumers have also posted complaints online. For example, a YouTube feud reviewer named Brennan Taylor whose extensive experience reviewing food items posted a review for the Mexican pizza on September 16, 2022, in which he stated that the Mexican pizza he purchased did not look like the pictures or advertisements. They're linking the evidence. On October 2, 2022, 
a food reviewer with extensive experience reviewing food items, who has a YouTube channel named It's Birdie, posted the following YouTube short, titled, Taco Bell's Mexican Pizza is not the same. She stated that the new Mexican pizza was smaller than Taco Bell's original Mexican pizza and not as thick. On September, 2020, September 20th, 2022, Plaintiff purchased a Mexican pizza at a Taco Bell store located in Ridgewood, New York for $5.49 plus tax. Plaintiff viewed Taco Bell's advertisements on the internet and the store location before purchasing his Mexican pizza and expected the Mexican pizza that he purchased to contain a similar amount of beef and beans filling as contained in the picture of the Mexican pizza in Taco Bell's advertisements. However, the Mexican pizza that the plaintiff purchased contained approximately half of the beef and bean filling that he expected and looked like the images posted by others, customers, and cited herein. If plaintiff knew that the Mexican pizza contained half the amount of beef and bean filling as advertised, he would not have purchased the Mexican pizza and or he would not have paid the $5.49 price that he paid for the Mexican pizza. Plaintiff, on behalf of himself and others similarly situated, seek to end Taco Bell's unfair and materially misleading advertising and request the following. Monetary damages, fully compensating all individuals who purchased an oversated menu item. Two, injunctive relief, requiring Taco Bell to provide correct advertisement and or stop selling the overstated menu items. Three, other such relief as the court deems is necessary and appropriate. Plaintiff Frank Saragusi is a resident of Bridgewood, New York. During the class period, defined below, Mr. Saragusi had purchased an overstated menu item at Taco Bell before located at Ridgewood, New York, within the court's jurisdiction. Defendant Taco Bell Systems, Inc. is a Californian corporation with its headquarters located in Irvine, California. Taco Bell conducts business directly or indirectly in New York under the name Taco Bell. Jurisdiction and Venue This court has original diversity jurisdiction over this action under the Class Action Fairness Act 28 U.S.C. Plaintiff is a citizen of the state of New York and the defendant Taco Bell is a citizen of the state of California and is headquartered with its principal place of business in the state of California. The matter in controversy exceeds the sum or value of $5 million. Exclusive interest and costs, this is a class action in which the number of members of the pros class is not less than 100. In addition, this course has diversity jurisdiction of a plaintiff's state law claims pursuant to 28 U.S.C. because the matter in controversy which includes plaintiff's claims and the claims of proposed class actions exceeds the sum or value of $75,000, exclusive interest and costs, and certain members of the proposed class are citizens of states different from the states in which the defendant is a citizen. Let me continue down. Class Action Allegations Plaintiff brings this action pursuant to federal civil rights procedure. All persons or entities that purchase a Crunchwrap Supreme, Grande Crunchwrap, Vegan Crunchwrap, Mexican Pizza, or Me a Veggie Mexican Pizza from a Taco Bell located in the state of New York during the time period July 31st, 2020 through the date of the final deposition of this action, the class. Plaintiff receives the right to amend definition of class if discovery and further investigation reveals the class should be expanded or otherwise modified. I'm assuming this is a nationwide issue. Plaintiff reserves the right to establish additional subclasses as appropriate. This action is brought and properly may be maintained as a class action under the provisions of the federal rules of civil uh, procedure and satisfy the requirement here though. There is a well-defined community of interest among the members of the class and the deposition of the cases of these uh, members of the class in a single action will provide substantial benefits to all parties of the court. The members of the class are numerous, that joinder of all members of the class is impractical at this time. Plaintiff believes that the class includes thousands of members. Therefore, the class is sufficient. The numerous, that joinder of all members of the class in a single action is impractical under federal rule of civil procedure, and the resolution of claims of uh, procedure of civil class with a benefit to all parties in the court. And we just go down with some more procedure information and why they believe they should be allowed to do this. Count one. 
Violation of New York Deceptive Acts and Practices Act. Plaintiff incorporates by reference and allegations every paragraph of the complaint. New York General Business Law, and it's continuing on, specifics. Particularly, that defendant made his untrue or misleading statements and representations willfully, wantonly, with reckless regard for the truth. It did not have 100% of the beef and ingredients that were advertised as his claim. Count two, violation of New York Deceptive Acts and Practices about tricking them into ordering it. Relief requested. Plaintiff on behalf of himself and the member of the class seek the judgment as following. Certified in the class is requested herein. Plaintiff as the representative of the class appointing head of counsel for the class ordering that the defendant is financially responsible for notifying all members of the class of the alleged misrepresentations and omissions set forth herein. Awarding plaintiff and members of the class statutory damages or compensatory measures, damages in an amount according to the proof at trial. Awarding declaratory and injunctive relief, including enjoining defendant with continued unlawful practices here and forthwith. Um, order the menu to stop selling the overstated menu items or to correct the insight behavior. Awarding interest on the money is wrongfully attained from the day of the collection through the date of entry judgment. Awarding attorney fees, expenses, recoverable costs, reasonable incurred, connection with the commitment and prosecution of the action. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. 